Hi, my name is Lisa Pena, and I'm the principal investigator of this experiment project. When it comes to living in space, taste is a unifying element that transcends cultures and boundaries. Studies show that chili provides a variety of medicinal and health benefits that range from relieving pain to fighting cancer. In this experiment, we'll conduct a chemical analysis of capsicum chinense habanero after its exposure to two different gravitational conditions. The goal for this experiment is to quantify the effect of microgravity on its chemical content. Hi, my name is Juan Nieto, and I'm a co-investigator in this experiment project. You are probably wondering why we chose chili, of all topics. Well, in addition to what Lisa has mentioned in our opening sentence, chili pepper is part of our daily meals. Growing up in a Hispanic family in a U.S.-Mexico border town, chili has been a prominent fixture in menus for hundreds of years. It has crossed many borders, including space. So why not explore this hot topic? Hi, I'm Vanessa Ruana, and I'm also a co-investigator of this experiment project. In addition, we are surprised to find out that the chili pepper contains more vitamin C than an orange. Chili peppers have been an object of study, mainly due to containing capsaicin, which produces different pungency levels, as well as carotenoids and phenolic compounds, which are natural pigments and antioxidant agents. Hi, I am Max Ferguson, and I am one of the collaborators in this experiment project. In our seventh grade lesson, we touched on the different accommodations that astronauts need to be provided with due to the challenging conditions in space. I can recall microgravity, lack of oxygen, solar radiation, extreme temperatures, and clean water and food. Since the early days of manned spaceflight, astronauts had reported that food tasted different in microgravity. Many said flares were dulled, and they craved for food that was spicier or considerably sharper tasting. Hi, my name is Simon Baeza, and I'm another collaborator of this experiment project. In connection to what Max has mentioned, food is a big psychological thing, and anyone that has ever flown to the space station has been concerned about their food. Providing them with more flavorful food is the least we could do to ease the harsh conditions that these astronauts have to go through living in space. This and the insights on medicinal value on Chile are the reasons why we pursue this hot topic. The need for astronauts to be able to spice up their food while in orbit <clears throat> excuse me, has something to do with the effect of microgravity on the chemical content of food. We hypothesize that chili exposed to microgravity will decrease in carotenoid content, thus decreasing in frequency. In addition to this, we also think that the amount of ascorbic acid content will decrease, thus increasing in the pH value of chili. In our experiment design, we have conditions of gravity as our manipulated variable. The responding variables will be the determination of carotenoids, pH, ascorbic acid, and amount of sugar solution added to dilute the frequency. All of the other factors such as amount of dehydrated chili, amount and type of rehydrating solution will be controlled. Here we have the habanero chili. We will then dehydrate it by sun drying it, we will then powder it using the mortar and pestle. This is how the habanero chili looked like once it's been powdered. We will then stuff the powdered chili into two identical containers, if the same amount. One will be sent to ISS, one will stay here on Earth as a control. The success of the experiment design depends on its reliability and validity. So we decided to conduct this experiment based on other related researches and collected data. In order to measure the ascorbic acid content of the, of the chili, First, you must add five milliliters of oxalic acid to the two grams of the chili puree. Then you homogenize it. After that, you centrifuge it. And the purpose for centrifuging is just to separate the liquid from the supernatants. And then you filter it using wet man filter paper. After that, you determine the pH level of the juice using a pH sensor. And finally, you measure or estimate the ascorbic acid content using two 4 pH reagent and a spectrometer set at 540 nanometers. This is how you find the carotenoid content. First, you measure two grams of habanero puree, then you mix it with 10 milliliters of acetone and diatomaceous earth, which is simply sand. Then you filter it using Wattman filter paper, get the extract and place it in 10 milliliters of petroleum ether. The purpose for that is to take away oil, distilled water, and acetone. Once that is done, you get the extract and place it in a spectrometer and set it to 450 nanometers and that's how you get the absorbance. Here we have the habanero chili. We will, three, three scientists will then test the, the habanero puree 
the same amount. The amount of sugar that will be added will dilute the different levels of frequency. The more amount of sugar added, the higher the frequency. These are the data and observations we have gathered from this experiment. The table shows three columns. The one in the left lists the corresponding variables. pH value, ascorbic acid content, carotenoid content, amount of sugar solution added to dilute frequency. The two columns next to it contain the resulting data from our manipulated variable. Habanero chili exposed to microgravity, habanero chili on Earth's standard gravity. We only have the result for the control, as if for now, just to show you how we conduct and collect the data. There are only preliminary sets of results since our study was included as part of mission two. We may not have the opportunity to see the difference in effect of microgravity on the chemical composition of a habanero chili, but we would like to share with you the insights that we got out of the experiment. Microgravity can affect the contents and profiles of compounds found in chili, and this could provide insights in providing ash nuts more flavorful meals. In addition to what Max has mentioned, we also thought that exposure to microgravity for standard periods may not only affect the compound characteristics, but may also affect how capsaicins bind with pain receptors. In, in addition to this, this experiment can also lead to food to further studies on the effect of chili inhibiting the growth of bacteria, thus enhancing its medicinal value. Clear perception is important in decision making and in carrying out missions in space. This experiment could lead to further studies on developing drugs from chemical compounds found in chili due to its effect on our brain. This could also be another way to provide astronauts the needed supply of endorphins to combat homesickness and the feeling of confinement. Thank you for listening. This is the end of our presentation. We would like to thank Dr. Ranra, a college professor at Sol Ross University, and Ms. Sims, a retired teacher, and um, a, a retired teacher, and <laughs> Mr. Monte, Ms. Crocido, and Mr. McIntyre. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you very much. Thank you for the excellent presentation. Do we have any questions from the audience for these researchers? Um, what made you guys decide on a habanero over any other chili pepper? Well, as we mentioned earlier, we live near a U.S.-Mexico border town, and we eat that a lot. That's really common around there, and you guys are not a part of it. Yeah, we chose habanero chili because, uh, like I said, astronauts reported that flavors are dulled and so they crave for food that's spicier, so we decided to get the insights on providing them more flavorful meals. A follow-up <laughs> on that question. I know in New Mexico, when I do work there, the question is red or green chilies. Now, I don't know about the specific one you're studying, but what, what might you study in different chilies that, that uh, could expand on the information you've gathered already? Can you please rephrase your question in simpler terms? <laughs> it's just what might you look at in other chilies beyond the one that you've studied to date? Uh, what has your results made you think about all chilies, not just the one that you've studied? Well, some might provide medicinal value, and, you, and they have m many important nutrients such as vitamin C, and some can even improve your immune system such as that. Or your, and including your circulatory and your digestive system. So chilies can help you in, way, in a way, and that will help you for further studies. You help astronauts. <laughs> what does piquancy mean? Piquancy actually hotness. means is a hotness. Okay. It means how spicy it is. All right, thank you again for a great presentation. Thank you.